Cosmology is the scientific discipline dealing with the origin, structure, and relationships of the universe. A cosmology is any theory or doctrine that describes the natural order of the universe. Cosmology goes back as far as men have looked up in the sky and wondered what's up there. Every civilization has had a cosmology as far back as is known, usually taking the form of a philosophically based mythology. Increased knowledge in physics and chemistry have resulted in a more scientific approach, but philosophic assumptions still play a major role in cosmology. The expansion of the universe was discovered by Edwin Hubble in 1929 by measuring the redshifts of distant galaxies. In 1998, it was discovered that the expansion of the universe was accelerating based on observations of type 1a supernovae. Cosmic background radiation is a thermal black body spectrum equivalent to a temperature of 2.725 Kelvin. It is very uniform in every direction. It peaks in the microwave range of 160.2 gigahertz at a wavelength of 1.9 millimeters. It was first observed in 1965 by Arno Penzias and Robert Williams at the Bell Telephone Laboratories in Murray Hills, New Jersey. This is a map of the caustic microwave background temperature fluctuations from the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe data of the full sky. The average temperature on this map is 2.725 Kelvin. The colors on this map are tiny temperature fluctuations spanning about 0 0.0002 degrees. The Big Bang cosmology is the current cosmology of the scientific establishment. The model starts with all of the matter and space of the universe squeezed into an infinitesimal dot called a singularity. Then according to the theory, the infinitesimal dot suddenly underwent an extremely energetic expansion, commonly described as an explosion. Over time, the heat of this expansion cooled, eventually forming galaxies, stars, planets, and us. The cosmic background radiation is seen as the residual heat of the Big Bang redshifted by the expansion of the universe. The Big Bang cosmology is based on three main purely philosophical assumptions. Absolute naturalism, which allows for no intelligence or purpose in the process. The universe is unbounded in that there is no edge, that is, no point beyond which there is no matter. Finally, there is the cosmological principle which states that the universe looks the same from every place. It explains the fact that we seem to be at the center of the universe by making every place look like the center. Now, there are other naturalistic cosmologies, such as the steady-state cosmology, which has no beginning or end to the universe, but requires a continual source of new matter. There is also the electric universe, which depicts much of the phenomenon in the universe as being electrical in nature. It is not yet fully developed. Creationist cosmologies tend to also be based on three main philosophical assumptions. God has the creative intelligence with purpose in the process. The universe is bounded in that there is an edge beyond which there is no matter. And finally, there is a center to the universe and the earth is near it. Now this is not geocentric because the universe does not rotate around the earth. Now, plugging these assumptions along with the observed expansion into relativity, results in time dilation at the center where the Earth would have been, producing a timeline on Earth consistent with the biblical account. And the cosmic background radiation is seen as the light that God created on day one of creation, redshifted by an expansion factor of 3300. In conclusion, cosmology deals with the origin, structure, and relationships of the universe. Cosmology is heavily dependent on philosophical assumptions since we only see the universe from one location, the Earth. And naturalistic and creationist cosmologies are based on different assumptions producing different results for the same data.